Yeah, actually, in all here are the watershed displays we got here. This one is a portable wa is a watershed. This one is doing soil erosion, and this one is doing water going to a well. We're going to do I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Of this one right here first. First right here, we're going to sprinkle gelatin and pudding and some food down here, and we're going to use these sprayers to do rain. Okay. All right, as you can see now, I sprinkled some gelatin, some food color, and stuff that you can see it's sprinkling it pretty good. You can see on there. Now I'm going to sprinkle the, spr the rain. As you can see, it made a mess here. So next step, I want to clean it out and put our riparian buffers, swales, hay, grass, and uh, marshland in here to demonstrate how this will actually prevent um, prevent pollution. Now we put some stuff out here to prevent um, pollution. The green sponges represent riparian buffers. The pink sponges represent marshland. The yellow sponges represent hay, and I use some green play-doh to represent swales. I add some trees. Also, don't forget to put the farmhouse, the regular house, and the factory in here. Now, once I get this done, I want to sprinkle a little bit less of the gelatins and no food coloring. The reason why is because the food color represents you know, oil and toxic stuff we want to keep out. Um, and the green gelatin represents dirt erosion and the orange and yellow Sorry, the orange and um, green gelatin represent uh, chemicals and sewage. So we want to put less in there to show that we're, you know, that we're that we're putting less in the environment, and also too, we want to show how these measures will help keep the water clean. All right, here we go. We start the rain again. Hopefully, there's less stuff in the water. Do it nice and good. Hopefully there's less water in the center, and the water that goes in the center is clean, or cleaner. As you can see, I'm doing this quite a bit. And I think that's about enough spraying. As you can see, the trees are wet. The sponges held back stuff and filtered the water. The swales held up and as you can see at the bottom here the water there is actually pretty clean there's not much there so um what we want to do is you can, i got some farm animals you can put in there you can decorate a little more um but basically what we want to do is is that we want to do the first setup with um lots of gelatin and lots of stuff a little bit of food coloring and just the farmhouse the factory and the house right here and maybe some farm animals the second go around, we you know we do it, then we clean it out. I will bring paper towels. Next time we do it, we add trees, the sponges, the pink sponges for uh, swampland, the yellow sponges for hay, the green sponge for riparian buffer, and the green play-doh as um, as swales. And we do it again, and then we see less water in here, at least see less stuff in here, and then we explain to people why this works. All right, I'll move to the next one.